What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Zelda Toys. And today we have a speed build and review, all and all in one, of the Zoids Wild ZW04 Scorpier. 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 I am here with Ultra Zilla Jr. And we're in the Ultra Zilla kitchen, which I think is gonna be where we build stuff from now on. But Voltron almost killed me on my coffee I, table. I think, you, <laughs> I think you forgot some new print is on the other one. What do you mean? This. The drink in the water. The other okay, I'll well, put your drink away, no problem. <laughs> Here's the box of Scorpier. This is the little uh, Scorpion. And I figured these little ones, I could do an all-in-one in, uh, instead of doing two videos. I think that's the best way to go. So, there you go. That's what that looks like, the box. I'm going to open this up, and uh, we'll continue. All right, inside, we have um, just two little, three little baggies. And this is instructions in there. Instructions here in the back. Oh, it's this one, then. Isn't this instructions? Oh, no, this is... What? Uh, just telling you what all the parts are. So that's good. Okay. And it has a little map if you uh, if you watch the series. Yeah, I look at a little map. Yeah. Here you go, bud. And we, like I said, we got three baggies. We got A, B, and S. We got a very small little motor in there because it's a very small little thing. They all come in these little uh, kind of camo, digital camo packages inside. To hold them together. And this would be the directions. Okay. And we're gonna get going. We're gonna get into the speed build. Enjoy that, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Scorpier, Scorpier? No, Scorpion. It's a Scorpion, but it's a Zoid, and the Zoid is called Scorpier. Or Scorpier. Let's call him a Scorpier. <laughs> like a pear. Like a pear. You like pears, right? Then little, I get little grassy eat, surface then, right now. Then I'm going to eat him. <laughs> yeah? 
Yeah. So this is the review it. portion of the video. Um, we're gonna take a quick look at it. It's it's a little, nice little small thing. We have some some various toys here to compare with. No other Zoids, but we have uh, some various things that you may have in your collection. Um, as you can see, he comes with um, the little clear rider. I really don't care for these, uh, and I don't display them with them at all so yeah it is what it is I'm just not into it uh, the way it looks I, I don't like how they look I, I really do like how the little robot like animals or dinosaurs or can, monsters look can I look too yeah it's, it's this is better than it has claws like what what the claws look like a what? Like a crab? Yeah, yeah, crab. Mm-hmm. Those scorpions have uh, claws too. I didn't know scorpion claws. Yeah. So looking at those claws, the sculpt is pretty nice. It's just cast in this like kind of almost translucent plastic. Um kind of metallic y. It's pretty cool. Good. They don't really do anything in, in this mode. His head has nice little beady metallic, like turquoise eyes. Yeah, metallic eyes. You like those? Yeah. They look pretty cool. I like how this whole helmet looks. Now the build on this thing, uh, I gotta say, like the directions. The, I mean, coming off of like the Lego directions, which were like almost perfect, like the Tomy directions, and I mean, I've had these troubles with like Transformers too are just like, some parts are just hard to follow and it makes like a little thing like this sometimes a little more complex than it needs to be. Um, so like I had to take things Can apart I a couple times. It? Yeah. So. I'm not sure how to move. No, not yet, not yet. Yeah. Because we gotta move this anyway. No. So let me. This, this? this is for the screwdriver. Yeah, this thing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna look at that in a second. Um, but the armor no, on no, here. Oh no, it looks like a sword. It's like a sword? Yeah, it could be like a sword. I like how the armor on the side looks. That's the way they did it on this one. Just very simple. The sculpt is pretty cool on it. You know, the frame itself, the black frame, looks really good. I really like it. All of them like stand out to me. Uh, I think they look great just casting that dark gray like blackish. It, it's cool. It's well done. And then you got the stinger back here. It's what like kinda... stinger? Can I look at a stinger? This right here. Oh a stinger. Yeah his tail. Yeah it's got these parts here. You can flip them if you want. Can I look how to flip them? Yeah you just turn. Can I see? Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> it's kind of Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I felt it was easy. Uh, and then you could unclip these here and you what can move the, these forward. Oh, unclip them. You know, you could do something like that for like a more attack mode. <laughs> like, can I see? Oh, yeah, like, like more attack mode. Mm hmm. To get. Can I see? And then you got this back piece here um, that comes off, which is acts as kind of a little screw driver type of deal. It look, kind of looks cool and kind of shoots out exhaust, maybe. <laughs> I don't know how it looks in the series or whatnot, but that's what I imagine. Um, you got the little green caps here for a little hint of color. You know, I'll probably um, do a little little Gundam marker to it like I did with the other one. Um, you also have a two, couple extra caps here. I've seen people put them over here or over here, but they don't really stay either place. Maybe if you add a little drop of glue in there and you, you could do that. I do like it how they look on this outside piece, so I might do that, but they come out and it, I'll probably lose them forever. <laughs> In the grass. But let's move the grass out of the way. You know, I do like that look for this particular thing. And I'm going to show you the, you know, the Zoids feature 
where it's uh, you know, a little wind-up feature. It war walks. Works. <laughs> works. Works. <laughs> so you take this thing out here and you have you stick it in this hole right here. And you best off turning it as much as you can. Because it ends pretty quick. And uh, there we go. Just a little handheld on this. But it's not moving. If this one moves very oddly, I will say, depending on the surface. Like on this table, it's having a, a hard time moving, but like when I put it on the directions, it moved a little better for me. Let's uh let's try it again. Try again. Yeah, why not? Oh, try again. Oh. And I could say. Oh. <laughs> it is moving forward. But it just moves super odd the way it's placed here on the bottom. It's placed so it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And there is a little bit of forward movement. But not a ton. Unless I did something wrong. And I, I, I've been looking at some other videos. I don't think I did. the pincers move. Which is cool. Yeah. Hey, thank you, like that? Yeah. It's cool. I just I don't think it moves as good as the two bigger ones that we've looked at so far here, the Ganon Twice and the Gill Raptor. Um just because of the way the legs are, but the pincers move nice. You know, I like that. Uh that looks very cool. And I guess Let's, let's, let's get back here. I'm try to do it with the, these forward and see how that looks. What do you think, bud? I think I'm gonna put these down, and then we'll see what it looks like when those are. Oop! I'm doing it the wrong way. It's moving faster now, right? It is moving faster. I think these forward are making it lean forward. You know, right? You saw that? Uh -huh. So that's definitely the trick. Move those forward and it'll actually start moving a lot faster. Pretty cool. Right, bud? You like it? Oh, it's slowing down. And that's that. All right, so let's do some quick size comparisons, and uh, we'll, we'll get you on your way. We got we got a couple of uh, couple of Pokemon here. Two Pokemon. Yeah, Solgaleo and Lunala. And, and so it's kind of my toys here too. Yeah, who we got? We got Titanus. Yeah, Titanus, but he combined with the other Megazord. Oh yeah, and with this Stinkfly. Stink. No, it goes in, yeah, stink fly. From Ben 10. Yes, yeah, Ben 10. Mm -hmm. Ben 10 turns to stink fly. Mm -hmm. and so we have a couple Marvel Legends here. You can see just how small this is compared to a regular 6 inch figure. A Spidey and uh, Iron Man. So, there you go. And that's it. That's our review of uh, Scorpier here. Scorpier. <laughs> Uh, final thoughts? I think it's pretty cool. You know, I, I like these guys. I think they're fun. Uh-huh. So we got, we got more to build, but that's it for now. What do you think? What are your final thoughts, bud? My final thoughts is a giant monster, a giant, a giant scorpion fights a tiger. Oh, you want to see it fight a tiger? Then, no, then, then, then it eats the tiger.
Oh, wow. Then, then, then I could eat the timer. Then, 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 then the timer is so super red. And that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace, peace out, peeps. Out, peace out, peeps.